Hi there, this is uh, Srikant Dasari. So in this uh, lesson, uh, we are going to focus on uh, how to take uh, input from keyboard uh, using a buffer reader class. Okay. So in the last uh, couple of uh, lessons or five lessons, we have learned how to use uh, the scanner class uh, and grab the input from the keyboard in uh, Java. Okay. So now we are uh, uh, going to focus on uh, so how to uh, get the input uh, using the a buffer reader uh, buffer reader class okay which is defined in the uh, java uh, io package uh, in java okay so let me launch the id so we know that we are using a uh, netbeans 8.02 okay so i have created a new project here under the name now buffered buffered input okay so which consists nothing but uh, a single uh, blank uh, java dot java file here okay so let me start with uh, the coding here so from the scratch package, so I'm just writing a package here. So buffered input is the name of the package which I am taking here. And then as we have said, we need to import uh, the IO package which where uh, the buffered uh, uh, reader class is defined. So java.io.star. Okay, so then followed by our uh, class definition. So public class. Uh, so buffered input. So public class buffered input. So then we have our uh, main function. So public static void main. As usual, we have this uh, string args to handle the. Okay. So now comes the here important thing here. So whenever you are dealing with the uh, IVO uh, package or IVO uh, package, uh, the classes or the methods which are defined inside the or the classes. Whenever you are importing the classes which are defined inside the IVO package, we need to use this uh, exception throws io exception okay so throws io exception exception which is always a good practice here okay so we have defined our uh, uh, main function okay so the class definition should be in uh, caps here okay so we have uh, defined the main function so now what you are going to do is we need to create an object for uh, this buffered uh, buffered reader class which we are going to use to take uh, uh, the uh, the input okay so buffered re buffered reader br is equal to so new so buffered uh, reader so new buffered reader and within that we need to also have an argument uh, as uh, for uh, input uh, stream reader so input stream reader class which is also defined in uh, uh, java dot uh, uh, io package and then within that we need to have this uh, uh, system dot in uh, uh, object here okay so as uh, uh, as an argument so now uh, we need to have a semicolon at the end okay so now we have uh, created nothing excited here uh, we have just uh, uh, taken uh, an object for uh, uh, buffer reader class okay so now what you are going to do is uh, so if you want to uh, have a character input uh, from the keyboard or from the console in the console window so you need to take uh, first a character variable for a character okay so first char ch so now uh, ch is equal to uh, buffer reader object which is br dot read okay so read is the function uh, which we have to use okay so but if you use uh, um, the plain uh, read function to grab the input and uh, this uh, uh, will not work here okay so the reason behind uh, it's not working here is uh, if you observe uh, there is a red uh, squiggly line uh, as the netbean says that is an uh, incompatible, incompatible types uh, possible loss of conversion from int to char here okay so what happens here is uh, so whatever uh, uh, the uh, the character uh, you are going to give as an input uh, or character or a single variable or whatever you are going to give is uh, taken as in the form of an ASCII value which is represented in integers here okay so that's the reason uh, if you are assigning an ASCII value uh, uh, to an uh, character uh, which is an integer so there will be a loss of data or uh, incompatible uh, type uh, mismatch error here. That kind of error will come here okay so in order to, in order to tackle this problem uh, what you need to do is uh, you need to cast your uh, uh, read function using this uh, type casting operator here okay so although we haven't learned about uh, that what is type casting at this instance uh, in our uh, programming series so take that so here you are explicitly converting uh, that uh, whatever the integer value uh, you are going to or, or whatever the ascii value that is being generated in the background uh, into a character once again and then you are assigning into your character char variable char ch variable here okay so this works well so before that let's have a message here to just to 
show it in the output system dot out dot print or let's take it as print here okay so let's say enter a value enter a character okay so let's enter a character and now we have our uh, read function and then you can uh, happily uh, uh, print the output system dot out dot print uh, let's say the entered character the entered character is equal to so you can use your concatenation operator and you can just uh, use the variable here okay so in this way you can make use of uh, the uh, buffered reader uh, class uh, in java uh, to grab the input so first let's run this uh, tiny little program by pressing f6 okay since we are in a uh, full screen mode here so once you press f6 it uh, runs the code and just asks, asks for us to enter a character let me enter a so it just uh, successfully uh, prints the character here. okay so if we run once again so whatever uh, the legitimate character uh, you can use uh, you can use it uh, so let's press asterisk here so you get asterisk in output here okay so this is the way uh, to enter uh, a character using a buffered reader uh, class buffered reader class uh, which is defined in our uh, IO package here okay so most essential thing so let's revise once again what we have done so far so here we have taken a, a, a small object for a buffered reader class which was defined in IO package and using that sint using this specific syntax here okay so buffered reader object and new buffered reader and within that you need to have two arguments one is the input stream reader and within that you need to have a system dot in as an argument within that input stream reader class here okay so uh, again we need to take a character variable ch in order to, uh, so here since our intention is to uh, take a character input uh, using a buffer reader class here okay so i'm just writing that character input from keyboard i'm just putting uh, our intention in the form of comment character input from keyboard uh, using buffered uh, reader buffered reader class okay so buffered reader so b should be capital so let's not uh, violate the syntax buffered reader class here okay so and then we have uh, successfully uh, read a character uh, since uh, from the keyboard using this uh, read method okay reading a character i'm just putting it in the form of a comment here from keyboard okay so reading a character from keyboard and explicitly converting and uh, let's write another comment here and explicitly converting the integer uh, represented x key value so integer represented as key value to a char okay to actual character okay so that's what uh, we ha that's what here our intention uh, uh, in internally okay so finally we have uh, just outputted that uh, character here so once again i'm just running the program if we say just give a numerical in the form of character you get uh, whatever you give here okay so this is the basic stuff about uh, so how to uh, take an input uh, from keyboard using uh, the buffered reader class in java so feel free to comment on this video if it uh, really helps you and don't forget to subscribe uh, to my channel uh, so that's it uh, for now so see you in the next lesson goodbye